Shalom Aleichem, my dear brothers and sisters. In this video, I would like to explain to you how the pig, out of all the animals, has proven the divinity of the Talmud. As you probably heard from my previous videos, that according to the Torah, an animal, in order to be kosher, has to have two signs. Those verses are in Leviticus chapter 11, verse uh, you know, 5, 6, 7, and on. And it explains that the two signs are that the animal has to chew its cud and has a split hoof. So, for example, cow, sheep, uh, uh, lamb, uh, goat, deer, all those animals, they chew their cud and they have a split hoof. However, the Torah says that there is one animal that has split hoof but does not chew its cud, and that is the pig. That's what the Torah says, and that's why the pig is not kosher, because it has only one sign and not the other one. However, interesting thing in the Talmud, in Mesechet um, uh, Chulin, page 60, and uh, Mesechet means value, volume, that's the name of the volume, Chulin, page 60. It says that if a person, let's say, walking down the road and he sees an animal that he does not recognize, he never seen such an animal before, and he's not sure if it chews its cud or not, you know, somehow he can't tell by the mouth, and is he, can he assume that this animal is kosher or not? The only thing he sees is that he sees that the animal has split hoof. So the Talmud says that as long as he recognizes that this animal is not pig, he can uh, go ahead and slaughter the animal in a kosher way and eat it, as long as this is not a pig. Why, the Talmud says? Because there is no other animal in the world except the pig that has split hooves but does not chew its cud only the pig or family of pigs and then the talmud asks but was moses a hunter or a trapper like how would he know these things and the talmud answers is that this information came from the creator of the world he created the world and he knows exactly which animals he created and it's interesting that the Talmud says this 1500 years ago, ever since, you know, this Talmud, many tens of tens, different uh, hundreds, maybe different species have been discovered. And not one animal other than the pig has been discovered to have split hooves that does not chew its cud. And that's really interesting because so many new animals were discovered in Australia, Indonesia, in North and South America. But not one animal has been discovered other than the pig that has split hooves and does not chew its cud. There are animals like this, like peccaries, for example, or warthog, but they are all in the family of pigs. But other than those family of pigs, not one animal. And this is, proves the divinity of the Talmud. And this is actually, if you think about it, this was a very bold statement in the Talmud. Saying you can go ahead and eat the animal because there is no other animal in the world other than the pig that has split hooves but does not chew its cup. Another bold statement in the Talmud. This one is written in Mesechet Nida, page 51b. And it says that out of all the fish, the two signs are that the fish must have scales and fins. This is what the Torah says, actually. Now, the Talmud says, for example, if you see a fish that has scales, but you're not sure if it ever had fins or not, let's say they're cut off. And the Talmud says that whatever has scales has fins, meaning that if you see scales, then you can rest assured that it had fins. And you are allowed to therefore eat the fish. And this is also interesting because it's been already 1500 years since the Tal Talmud was compiled. And until today, not one species of fish has been discovered that has scales but not fins. 
And even though there has been hundreds and hundreds of thousands new species discovered, and in fact every year there's, there are tens of new, new species discovered, and yet not one fish has been discovered that has scales, but not, not fins. Now, by the way, when I say scales, I have to define it a little bit. The scales, according to the Allahic point of view, means where every piece of scale is attached on one side and separated on the other side, meaning you can scrape it off with a knife. For example, the snake does not have scale, according to this. Uh, it's only specific the fish type scale, where the one side of the scale is attached and the other one is not. And I hope you have learned something today and thank you for watching.